I'm back. I didn't die. Rory, I'm not trying to be rude, but you died. Yeah. One second, he's basically almost at the centre of the Earth with a bunch of Silurians, and then he's dead. Doctor! <laughs> I get sucked into a crack in time. If time energy catches up with you, you'll never have been born. It will erase every moment of your existence. You will never have lived at all. Which means that I never existed. How can you be here? What? I don't know. But I wake up as a Roman soldier. I died and turned into a Roman. It's very distracting. When I got the script for that, I just couldn't, I, mean, I couldn't really believe it. It's kind of like a nice um, way to tie everything up, so it's really nice to have him back. One of the most complex things to do in this episode was to bring back someone who not only was dead, but never existed in the first place. Amy can't remember who, who he is. Well, she doesn't know that Rory ever existed. You know, just a sort of dream moment, a magic moment, a wish fulfillment moment, and then to find something terribly sinister underneath that. That, uh, you know, that Rory doesn't even realise he's not actually Rory, he's a construct of, of, of Amy's memories. Rory comes back all expectant and um, excited to see her and, and thinks that she's going to be over the moon to see him, and, but she doesn't even remember him, so that's quite hard. Oh, you're the guy, yeah, the, the one who did the sortie thing? Yeah. Mm, well, thanks for the sorting, nice sorting. No problem. To die, come back to life, and her not remember him is pretty tragic. Almost as tragic as having to kill your one true love. And turning over. Nice move. five kick the rest of the start. Take camera mark. Take camera. And action. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur.